Hello everyone, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Now it's the holidays and I know probably all of us, if not most of us, are gonna cook a ham. And it's just one of those things you do. It's so good, it's traditional for a lot of people. I'm gonna show you an easy way to cook it in your pressure cooker, your Instant Pot or whatever brand, that's gonna take about 15 minutes. You know, that's awesome, right? It usually takes like two hours, but it's gonna turn out juicy, it's not gonna dry out and it happens fast. That's what makes it so perfect. Let's get right into it. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make our glaze. So I'm into my bowl here. I'm going to put some crushed pineapple that I have. Just some Kroger crushed pineapple. Um, I'm going to go some honey next, actually. Uh, no, this ham's in the way of the camera. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and get our honey in here. And we're just making just stuff for the glaze right now. Um, super easy. I've got some brown sugar that's going to go in. And then this is some orange juice with orange zest. Um, I always love to take the zest off of any time I put citrus in anything. I always like to use the zest um, because it just adds so much more flavor that you wouldn't otherwise get. So that's a good thing. And this is just soy sauce. Okay, give that a good stir. And then into my cr or instant pot, I'm gonna put some chicken broth. You could, you could put water. This is just to kind of help it steam um, when you get it in there. Another important part of this process of putting it in the instant pot is make sure your ham's not too big and make sure your pressure cooker is big enough to handle it. I would say if you're gonna make the purchase of a of an instant pot or whatever brand, make sure to buy the biggest one because you're gonna get the most use out of that and for only like 20 or $30 more than the small one, um, you're gonna get just more use out of. So make sure to buy the biggest one. You can get those at your local Smith's Marketplace for sure and they're always on sale. Okay, so I've got my ham. I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna just start putting a little bit of the um, our glaze on top of it. And I only do this just so I can get some of the glaze inside the cavity. So the spiral slice has already been sliced. Um, the spiral sliced ham, sorry. And just get some of that glaze inside the, the different slices of ham. And once you get that done, then it goes in the instant pot. So here's the big test here to see if it's gonna fit. Actually, I already tested and it does fit. So get it in there, push it in there, and then what we're gonna do next is just dump the rest of that glaze on top. Set that aside, and I actually have my lid back here. I'm gonna remove my gloves, because they get in the way sometimes. All right, and then we're just gonna throw our lid on, set it, we're gonna set it for five minutes only. So let's go ahead and set that. I've already had this one done over here. But five minutes, and then once those five minutes, you're gonna let it, um, cook the rest of the way or natural steam release for 10 more minutes. So it's about a 15 minute process. It's not very long at all. Better than that two hours or whatever in the, in the oven, right? So this one's already done. Let's see how it turned out. Let me take the lid off and it looks fantastic and all the juices are still there. Probably the hardest part about this recipe and it's not very hard, but it's the hardest part is getting it out of your pot onto your platter. So literally, let's see if we can get it out of here in one, one piece without dropping it or spilling it. Oh, I did it. That looks so good, guys. And then what I do next is just take that um, extra glaze. And you could even take this glaze and uh, maybe reduce it down. Just let it boil a little bit longer and that's fine too. Maybe put it on a sheet pan and put it in under the broiler and let it kind of get sticky. But otherwise, that is a holiday ham that would normally take you a couple hours, less than 20 minutes. So you can't beat that, right? And it's super good. It's gonna be juicy and that's it. So everybody have a great holiday. Thank you so much for shopping and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.